Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new SBC Roberto Firmino card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 5'11 with high, high work rates, right footed with five star skill moves and a five star weak foot. So obviously the fact that we're starting off with really good, really good base stuff with five star skill moves and five star weak foot is amazing. Because as you guys know, five star skill moves to do the Elastico, the fake Rabona, the moving scoop turn, always really, really nice to have for cards like this. And then obviously with the five-star weak foot, we'll be able to shoot from different positions and not have to worry about the fact that it is a four-star weak-footed player. Unless his shot power is poor, which we are going to be checking out. In regards to traits, guys, he has the flare trait, which can be good and bad at the same time because sometimes you just do like a regular pass and then they just do like a flare pass that you didn't want. But... The important part, let's look at all of his in-games, ladies and gentlemen. His in-games, 89 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. That is something that you may want to improve on the card. Shooting on the card for 97 attacking positioning, 95 finishing, 90 shot power. That's pretty good for base card stats. You don't necessarily need to improve that, which is perfect, right? 95 finishing on 90 shot power will work nicely with the 5-star weak foot that this card has, which is great. Uh, passing abilities on this card, you do improve it with the engine chemistry style, but in regards to his base stats, they are pretty good as well. So, you know, I'm thinking mostly of using this card as a cam because I believe, uh, Juan Pedro and this Brazilian team is a high medium work rated player. So it'll definitely work off nicely with Roberto Firmino playing in the cam, but I do want to try him out in the striker position as well. But with Roberto Firmino, obviously in the cam spot, passing stat increase with the engine chemistry style is always a welcome one. The fact that he has 96 composure for base card stats as well is very, very solid. You don't necessarily need to improve it with a sniper chemistry style or anything like that. We obviously gave him the engine because of the fact that I want to increase his pace as well as his dribbling as much as possible. Because of the fact that he is a 5'11 player with like a, I think even Footman would say... It's a high and average lean body type. I think it's like a little bit stocky. I'm going to have to see in game because I haven't used this card in a while. Um, that could affect the way that the card performs in game in regards to responsive dribbling. But we'll obviously be taking a look at that. Improving reactions, ball control and dribbling to a 99 is very, very important. But it is also very nice that the base card stats are pretty solid. Now with agility, we'll be increasing it to a 92. But I feel like the balance is going to be a really relevant thing to increase as much as possible, right? In regards to having him in the attack, he has 89 jumping, which is nice. Heading accuracy is okay from time to time um, in regards to just passing it off to people. So obviously, if we have the ball at the goalkeeper and we want to do a quick clearance, Roberto Firmino in the camp spot could potentially win the ball in the air and then pass it off to somebody else and then you can go for a nice little counter attack, right? Uh, he does have 97 stamina as well, which is obviously very important because if he didn't have the stamina, the card wouldn't really be usable. So... The price of this SBC is 416k, which might be steep for him. I'll t I'll, I'm obviously going to take a look at him in-game. He might move like an absolute beast, right? Who knows? Um, we're going to see how he performs. Maybe the 5-star, five 5-star five makes him an absolute beast. We obviously need to check out the players anyway. So, in regards to how we are going to be lined up in-game as we were, we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 as we always do. Juan Pedro will be playing in the striker position just for now because I want to test out Roberto Firmino playing in the cam spot, right? High, high work rates, 97 attacking positioning, and 97 stamina is going to be very interesting to try out in that position. I don't want to put any instructions on him. Juan Pedro will just keep on balance because I don't remember exactly what instructions I like using on him, even though he's a freaking monster. I'm telling you, this Juan Pedro card is a beast. But I, unfortunately for the YouTube content, I might have to put him into SBC fodder at some point in the future. But not because he's bad, because, you know, he's really solid. I even had to put Kessie in, and I really liked Kessie. But I got to get these cards for you guys, you know. But, uh, yeah, we'll use him in the camp position with Juan Pedro up top, and we'll see how he plays in game. So, hopefully he's a beast. Let's see how he plays. Oh, this guy also got Roberto Firmino. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's switch to our defensive tactics. We'll uh, analyze the way that he moves across the pitch. He's obviously... I wouldn't really consider that a lean body type in game, to be honest. It's like, ah, uh, you know what? No, it is kind of lean, I would say. Okay. All right, so what is your dribbling like? Yeah, pretty solid for the height that he has, right? Players that are usually this tall don't really dribble that quickly. Uh, it doesn't really happen too often. But uh, he's definitely moving really nicely so far. Playing off the attacker right here. That didn't pass to the right person right there. But he actually moved into that space upwards really nicely. So we're going to have to keep experimenting with that. He is coming close to me to offer his support in the cam position. Kind of like just trying to get the ball off me there. Where do you move over here? Oh, he goes into the middle instantly. Okay, so he sticks to the middle. 
makes that run right there. We'll wait for that pass right there specifically. We wanted to take a really quick touch right there. So usually what you want to do in that situation is potentially just do like a fake shot stop just so that your player can turn a little bit quicker, right? If he just does a regular dribble, he just won't do it as fast, right? Little pass there from that angle. That guy's making a run right there. We'll make this pass upwards. Nice little heel to heel. It registered really late right there, but it ended up re registering well anyways. We got really lucky that we got past the goalkeeper like that because I should have done it the very first time. But even in that situation right there, as we made that pass as Ron Pedro, Roberto Firmino was going into the middle really quickly. What I am noticing with this card so far, guys, is that regardless of the engine chemistry style that you will be giving him, his body type as well as his like... It's, it's a lean body type, but it's like a... It's like a, it's not like a, a Bernardo Silva lean because obviously Bernardo Silva is like smaller, so it makes a difference. But with um, with using the Roberto Firmino card in the cam position, his movement in that goal was actually really solid. The way that he went into the middle really quickly. How's he move here? Okay. I don't like that he didn't like check his run right there and move into the uh, the top position. You know what I'm saying? Like you know when players. Players are sometimes really smart in this game in regards to attacking AI. Sometimes is when they're making those initial runs and those initial runs no longer make sense. They make that run into the middle, right? So over there, we compensated well for it. But I did I did want Roberto Firmino to check his run and then go right back into the middle, which he probably should have right there. But regardless, very good finish there in that situation. Right to the bottom right corner. He's doing okay so far. Mm, he makes a sideways run right there, but then checks his run, go back, goes back into the middle quickly. Let's try a finesse shot. Oh, gets a tackle off right there. Nice little skip of a dribble right there. He makes that run instantly to the top. Okay. Usually when it comes to these types of players, guys, I have to adjust to the way that they play. So I have to kind of like... I have to see how he, he wants to move in the cam position, how he wants to move in the striker position without any instructions. It's very, very important. Like over here, you can see he's aggressive to the side, but then he does go back into the middle position really quickly. That's the type of stuff you have to see with these types of guys, right? He's going to make that run. Mm, see that run right there? I don't want him to continue that. So stuff like that is stuff that you realize, right? When you're on the edge of the 18-yard box, sometimes it's actually ideal to just have your cams on stay in the edge of the box because of the work rates that they have. So high, high work rates... Uh, some players just move very differently, right? Bernardo Silva's high, high work rates works very, very differently with Bruno Fernandes. And uh, sometimes you just have to adjust to it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and try him out on the stay on the, uh, stay on the edge of the box for the cross instruction, and then I'll see how he plays. Super aggressive there. Does go back into the middle really quickly. Try a shot from that angle. Okay, so into the middle. Composure kind of playing a part right there. Okay. I want to try stay on the edge of the box with him because of the high, high work rates that he has. I'm curious to see how he's going to move with that. And I'm just going to push Juan Pedro on stay central as well. So far, what I can tell you guys with Roberto Firmino's card is that I really feel like he's going to be best utilized in the striker position. Um, he doesn't really necessarily feel like a cam that I would personally like uh, because of the way that he dribbles on the ball. But uh, I do want to keep trying it out with the stay on the edge of the box for a little bit. And then I will rotate him to the striker position. Because as you guys know, with Jota's card, I thought he was pretty expensive at the time as well. But do I enjoy using him in the striker position for what he offers? Yes. I'm actually just going to switch Roberto Firmino to the striker position right now. Um, and then I'll probably rotate him back into the cam spot as well. Because I really want to see what he's like playing through the middle. I want to play him on balance as well. Because I want to see what he's like movement-wise. Because he is somewhat aggressive in regards to the way that he gets in behind the defense. Um, it's just the dribbling part that throws me off with this card so far. 5-star, five 5-star five is always nice to have. But, you know, you got to get into the positions quickly to utilize it as best as possible, right? How does he move off of this here? Okay, so he goes into the middle instantly after the ball roll touch. Okay. Okay. Well, touch. Got that near post angle. Not a bad shot right there. Obviously, those are not consistent finishes because he's coming off of a specific touch right there. We go for the near post. Uh, he does hit it accurately to the right side, which was really nice, obviously. But 
It's not one of those consistent finishes. You know what's funny is that the way that he plays in game, he plays like he does in real life. Like he just plays like a center forward and striker, which is very interesting. He makes an angled run right there, which is solid. Does he go back into the middle quick enough? Kind of sticks into the middle over there. Okay, uh, striker position. I mean, he's not he's nothing special. He doesn't really make the off-the-ball movement that I'd like most of my players to do. Let me see my tactics here. So I'm playing I'm playing on just very basic ones, right? So I'm just playing with like the width lower or players in the box set to four. So it's very like basic stuff to kind of like analyze the way that he moves. Um, I want to try him back in the cam position without any instructions while Juan Pedro is the player on stage central. I believe it's just stay central right now with him playing up top as a striker. The dribbling in those situations is way too sloppy. It also didn't register the um, the uh, the drag back in that situation from the first touch, which really sucks. Because I think if I can get him on his five star weak foot right there, maybe we could do something with that opportunity. Ooh, that was a lovely pass. Nicely done. Oh, dude, I wish. I wish there was like a way to like fake out. Like, unfortunately, there's no animation to like fake out the goal here from stuff like that. But that'd be really sick if there was. Okay, so he takes a shot from um, a weird touch. You can kind of feel it when you do like a weird touch right there. But uh, not a bad strike. Nicely done. Good dribbling right there to get into the space. Nice. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Roberto Firmino card in regards to in-game capabilities and whether or not he's worth the price value. Uh, we're going to be talking about a few things here. So with the engine chemistry style, guys, I enjoyed using the card with the plus five acceleration, plus five for sprint speed. The shooting isn't really something that I felt like needed to be improved, although I do think for basic stats uh, should have been improved just so it could feel a little bit better because of the way that the shooting is in this game. Um, the passing stats being improved was very noticeable with the card. Uh, uh, especially with the engine chemistry style, but even if you didn't want to give him an engine chemistry style, the base card stats are already very nice, but engine obviously increases it substantially, so he feels really, really good. Dribbling on the card still doesn't feel that responsive, unfortunately, the way that this game is. Players usually feel very similar to their base card stats, so the fact that he's an 87 agility, 88 uh, bounce player, you will always feel that more than the chemistry style that you give him. Now, you could potentially give him the sniper chemistry style just to give him the plus Plus 10 for agility if you feel like he needs that more than the balance, right? And that could potentially be the case for sure. But like I said, I always feel like because of those two main stats not being that high up, he will always feel very similar to that, especially since he is a 5'11 player with like a body type that I wouldn't necessarily call lean like a bummy yang, but a little bit a little bit stockier than that. So it definitely affects his dribbling a little bit. Um, he doesn't have any defensive presence, but sometimes I would catch him defending nicely for me in the cam position because of the high defensive work rates without even telling him to come back in the fence. Um, he does that himself because of his work rates. Uh, in regards to physicality, the strength is nice. But the problem with the physical stats that he has is that they're more noticeable if your dribbling would be better, right? Because the dribbling is not as good, you don't notice the strength as much. However, what I will say about this card, and this is the only way I see him being used, he feels like what he would feel like in real life. So the way to use a card like Roberto Firmino is not even in the cam position or the striker position, but mostly in a 4-3-3 like Liverpool play in, in real life. But instead of him playing in the striker position, you would kind of play like a 4-3-3 false nine in the actual game itself so that he kind of sticks to that center forward position, uses physical to do a first time touch and then lay off to other people. That's how you have to kind of play with this card because even in the cam position, because cams in a 4-2-3-1 is 
is very it's very important for them to move very quickly to open up the space for others. As a striker, it's a little bit different because if he's if he's a center forward, the way that you build up the play going upwards, he's kind of mostly going to have his back towards goal. So maybe using him as a stay central target man player might be the most ideal instruction because he's going to be the type of guy because of the five star weak foot where he needs to hold off the defenders, take that touch, take a small touch downwards or upwards, shoot instantly or go for a pass. That's the type of play style that you have to play with this card, in my opinion. So that's what I noticed in regards to using him in the 4-2-3-1 formation when he was playing in the cam spot. Now, is he worth it for price value? 416k? He's not. Now, the reason why I think he's not is because if this card actually had defensive stats, like his scream card over here at 80 base defensive stats, that would have been significantly better. If this was 416k, but you gave him better defensive stats, then it would have been worth the price. But at 416k, I think the card is very overpriced. Um, I think regardless of the fact that he's a five-star, five-star player, he feels like a card that should cost, honest to God, 200k, 220k max. I wouldn't even push him to 250 because his dribbling just doesn't feel that good. And a formation like a 4-3-3 false nine is not necessarily the most usable in this game because of the way the off the ball movement works, right? You don't really often see people using it, even though it can be a fun formation and he can definitely play it. But due to most people's play styles, I just don't think he's going to be responsive enough for most people's team, right? So price value, I don't think he's worth it. And I also don't think he's worth it in regards to putting SBC fodder in it because, you, you know, you can get potentially better cards in the future, in my opinion. Like if a card like Perisic, I know he's a Bundesliga playing for Bayern Munich, but if a card like Perisic is really cheap with a five-star weak foot as well, this card should feel very similar because their dribbling is very similar as well. Perisic was okay because of the price value. If Perisic costs this much... Even if he was, even if Perisic was Brazilian, I wouldn't say he's worth it. But because of the price value, he was. If this Roberto Firmino was like 200k ish, 220k ish, I would say it's worth it price wise, right? So um, that's pretty much it in regards to the review. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. You guys know I always give an honest review regardless. I get these cards out for the YouTube channel so we can chill and vibe out while I'm making these videos. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.